Hello friends, my name is Internet, and welcome back to the Life is Strange 2! It's been so long since I've seen this game! If, um, I remember correctly, when we last left off, um... We stole money from that guy, and Daniel may have killed someone, and Daniel ran away. Um, the reason I haven't really played this game is because I used to have to play it on my boyfriend's computer, and it wasn't really convenient to ever do that. But now I've got my really nice, better than Mikhailo's, computer. And I can play it myself on my own computer. I'm just so excited! So we'll watch the recap to remember everything that we did. Uh, we also didn't... Um, we didn't hook up with the girl we liked. And we also didn't hook up with uh, the boy we liked. Because we were worried about Daniel. So that's a thing. So, <clears throat> let's go. Previously. Once upon a time. In a while wild world. There were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. Ah! And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf. But a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them. And everybody loved the little wolf. <laughs> who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident. And independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog. <sighs> they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the main farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. I forgot that Sean got hurt. <clears throat> I completely forgot that Sean got hurt. He's got uh, an eye patch. I've actually got a picture on my reel behind me where he's got uh, the eye patch on. I wonder how many endings there are. I know chapter 5 has been out for ages, or episode 5's been out for ages now. <sighs> oh, where, where has Daniel gone? Oh, where, where could he be? Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. What? I wish I'd listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? Oh, this is a dream. I'm alone, Sean. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. Uh, uh, stop! Uh. Hey, my head got shaved. Or Sean's head got shaved. Association. Two months. Fuck. Daniel. It's been two months? I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. Uh... I miss Cass so much. <clears throat> Howdy, city Wish boy. Wish I could hold her. Howdy, city boy. I bet you're surprised to hear from me. I found out we're in the same hospital from the police after we were questioned when I was checked out a month ago. So I took the chance to write you and hope you get this. Wish I could say everything I want, but you never know who's reading, right? If anybody else is reading this, fuck you. I truly hope you are okay. Sorry. If anybody else is reading this, fuck you. Better? I truly hope you're okay after what happened. As for me, I don't remember much except the explosion at Merrill's office, and then I woke up in the hospital with blunt trauma. Healing. And what the doctors call last, last lung injury, hurting. I'm just glad that I can play guitar and sing, not that I feel like it. You learn a shitload about medicine stuck in a hospital bed. And I'm sure you know, my sweet compadre, still working on that Espanol, miss my, le miss my lessons and my teacher. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah, Penny, and I released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us gutter pucks, punks toiling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but got no answers. Surprise. So with Finn and you gone, our real family is kind of broken up. Now we're just a lonely trio, uh, train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're going in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same, and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? Maybe I'll have a whole new set of blues songs for the road. I know you're going to trial soon over in Seattle over the Seattle situation, and you, you will get the justice and freedom you deserve. You and Daniel are amazing brothers, and I hope you find your way home so soon. I hope we can swim naked again under a new moonlight. It's a big world, and maybe we'll meet again someday. I'll always be singing your song. Love and peace, Cassidy. Oh. <clears throat> Can't catch shit. <sighs> Zero depth perception. Ugh. Goodbye, sports. Terrible. That sucks. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Department of Justice, Federal Can't Bureau Can't wait to text you. Maria Elena Flores, Special Agent, Seattle Division. Call any time, day or night, if you want to talk. Oh, yep. Yeah. 555. Five, five. Anybody who's actually got a 555 five, five number is so screwed. This must be my punishment. So, I used to live in Duncan, Oklahoma. Um, and there is the hospital there, Duncan Hospital. If for some reason you're ever in Duncan, Oklahoma, and you get sick and you have to go to the hospital, the hospital food in Duncan is really good. They have their own cafeteria and their own chefs and stuff. They also have other stuff in the hospital. This day feels like every other day. But their hospital food like prison. is actually really good. So, fun fact: every other hospital I've had food on sucks. Page. This sucks ass, man. Coming for weeks, blind, blind and fucked, 
and in police custody, going to jail soon. Hospitals freak me out. I hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. March 30th, 2017. Tried to draw to kill time. This room's like a cage, but I suck now. No depth perception, no art, no shit. Focusing equals immediate migraine. Going crazy in here. Woke up crying. Wait, does the other one have a date? March 26th. March 30th. April 3rd, 2017. Special agent... Special secret agent Flora. She's trying to bond with me, trap me, or trust me. So fucked. Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion, so he's out there alone. April 11th, 2017. Happy birthday, Daniel, Daniel wherever you are in Nano. April 15th, 2017. Clarence Stevens sent me a nice letter. So lonely, I read it twice. Weird how I miss them now. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit, too. Glad he's doing fine. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad, so glad he's around. April 20th, 2017. Wish I could hear a cast play again. All those songs are gone, but not our time together. Oh, whoops. April 25th. I fucked Daniel up. I let Finn become his brother. You gotta draw, man. You gotta draw. You can do it. Oh, weird. With that whole, like, left eye thing. That's really trippy. So hard to focus. You can do it. Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. Never give up. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Getting better. You will get out of here. Hospital doesn't have to be a prison. Wish I could find a highway to freedom. You gotta stay positive. <sighs> Anything else that I can look at before I turn on the TV? Yay! <laughs> Stupid reality shows. <laughs> okay, is that it? Oh. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, guess I'm done. Okay. <sighs> Joey must hate the sound of this thing. This must be my punishment. Do I just wait for Joey? Yo. Hey. <coughs> Man. <laughs> oh. Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. No. Oh. Oh. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. <laughs> oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm. I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate. Uh oh. There's that smile. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Mm. Before they... check you out. 
Check me out to Julie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. <clears throat> do I get to do this? No? Okay. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Good, good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Nope. Yeah, really hard. that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. That, I don't yeah. know. Here. How the Read hell? This. I'm a pirate. Patient cleared. I'm a pirate without a patch. Arr. <laughs> I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. <clears throat> yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dress. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. Oh, we ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch them. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Rude. Sure. Excuse me. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. I don't know how they did that depth perception thing. There was no depth perception there. That was trippy. <clears throat> so, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison, or you can talk to me. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, he came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being, who knows. I hear you, but you sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. <clears throat> I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus two seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. The only statement we have is yours. Well, we could have asked the others, Sean, but you let them go. Throw me a bone here. 
Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna just tell you Fuck. you have superpowers. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? It was Fenton's idea. Finn. It was his idea to rip off Marrow. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? Yes. I went along. I had to get money for Daniel. No choice. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was gonna happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. Your friend is learning the hard way. <clears throat> I didn't deserve it. We all make mistakes. Yeah, well, some mistakes are worse than others. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. I guess your grandpa can walk now after his surgery. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. <clears throat> Sorry, Finn. Yes. At least Cassidy wasn't at Merrill's when it... Hi. Wonder what Merrill told the cops about the robbery. Okay. Sorry, Hannah. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. No, honey. I told you I was gonna be away for a while. I'm sorry, okay? You gotta be good. Okay. Bonella, will you down the phone, please? Yeah. I love you. Hola, mamá. Sí. Es que... No sé. Todavía estoy en el hospital y... Sí. Sí. Mañana por la noche. Mi vuelo sale a las nueve. No. Le he dicho que no. Está todo el día con la Playbox. Pero no quiero que te vengan, por favor. Sí. Bueno, déjale. Sale. Sí. Mañana nos vemos. Un beso. Sorry about that. Okay. I don't know enough Spanish to know what's going on. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. <clears throat> For how long? It's been over two months. How are you gonna find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him, too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up, too, right? Whatever. Anyway. Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Where do you get such nice hospital, like, gear? Only it's just a- Look out! I have to guard the guard now! Dress thing. <laughs> love it! <laughs> Sit down so we can get this show going. <clears throat> so... How did your interview with Scully go? <laughs> Scully. Uh... Great. Detective Flores said I'm free to go. Woohoo! Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thank you. Thanks, Joey. Wanna tell that to the judges? I'm just saying. 
You don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. Uh. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Mm. Ugh. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Seems important. I should keep I should remember this. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch Oh, shit. Ah, emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Catch you later. Joey, you are her boss. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. I'll check out the towel in a second. What? Wow. Got his journal. I seen you in a long time. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Uh, damn it, Joey. Oh. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? I wanted to go see the bathroom and the other stuff. He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. Aww. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven... They would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Yeah. <sighs> Wait. What's that? Super Wolf. Huh? Does that mean... It means that Daniel... Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? <sighs> He's safe? I could see him again. Jacob? <gasps> Jacob. Huh. Had a few bear beers. Daniel's asleep. Same night, every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have time. We gotta hide. It's not easy. Sean, I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We'll give them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. Just waiting for you, Jake. I'm trying to remember who the hell Jake is. <clears throat> Hey, 
Agent 420, give me hot dogs, Cassidy. The wild versus is hand of the wise. <laughs> Depression night. Everyone shared the worst memory and everyone felt like shit. What a wonderful world. Went to bed early again with Daniel. Kind of wish I would have stayed like everyone else, though. Meh. Ah, <laughs> fuck a woo. I'm a swear wolf. A <laughs> fucking woo. And Daniel messed up again. All I gotta do is find that page with Jacob's home. Haven Point, Nevada. Oh, Jacob. I remember who Jacob is now. Noises. Religious commune from Haven Point, Nevada. Cool. I gotta get to him. Gotta find a way to escape. Would that Tonight. make you look more guilty? Wait, no, I wanted to explore the rest of the room. No, go back. Go back. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Joe is the only one who helped me get through this shit. And then I can go back and redo that again. I, I wanted to explore the rest of the room. I didn't think that looking at that would, you know, progress everything. Maybe I should have let Daniel help Steven. Sean, we're grateful to find out that you're safe and awake. The police contacted us when you were found unconscious in Hobart Country. We wanted to visit you in the hospital, but Stephen's leg had to recover after his surgery. He's finally walking again. We also want you to recover ASAP, as the doctors say that you came out of that coma stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police any way we can. They really want to help find him too, Sean. Hopefully this reflects well on your trial. We know this must be hard for you after everything you and your brother have been through. You've both been in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. We hope to visit you and Jolena Shore as soon as we can. Take care of Clarence David. P.S. Chris insisted to write a little note. It's attached to this letter. P.P.S. He doesn't know Daniel is missing. Oh. Don't know if we'll ever come back, Chris. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Miss that little superhero. Hi, da Sean and Daniel. I hope you're okay. I am fine, but I miss you both a lot. When are you coming back? Dad has been better lately. He says hello and we're fishing now that summer is here. We do a lot of stuff outside now. All the snow is gone. You should come back to see Beaver Creek with the snow. I'll be waiting for you. Chris and Captain Spirit. P.S. We need to save Beaver Creek from the swamp bugs. Oh. There was a drawing in the trash. Nah. Yep. My art is trash now. Yay. Stupid reality shows. I have a message. Hmm. Instructions for getting out of here. There is an emergency exit all the way down the hall and then take a left to get down the stairs. I could also go straight down the hall and to the right, but that would be a lot faster. Hmm. Okay. Probably should keep that in mind. They kept me locked in for two months. Except for a daily exercise break. <coughs> Wait, hold on. Can I look around? I can. Oh, uh, this whole no depth perception thing, or no thing in the left eye is so strange. Ah, uh, that's weird. This is cool. Can I use the toilet? Okay, I think I've done everything I can now. Oh, I can look up yeah. though. Salvation lies ahead. Okay. 
Now... I can do this again. Much better. Okay. I'm feeling a lot better about this now. <sighs> Guessing this is like Mercy or Baptist Hospital, because that's usually what it is. Scare Sacred Hope. There we go. Sacred Hope Hospital. See? Okay. Time to clear off now. Oh my god, stop this whole texting me. Is so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna put my phone on silent. No, I don't wanna. Jesus Christ. Oh. There we go. Okay. Under the bed, the call button, bed sheets. I need to close the curtain before I do that. <sighs> Wish I could just walk out. My backpack has got to be somewhere around here. You think so? <sighs> They've been working on these rooms forever. <sighs> so fucking loud. Oh. Let's see. I just gotta get past that locked door and an angry guard. Okay. Can I do anything in the bathroom? This one isn't screwed in. I could pull it off, but it's gonna be loud. <sighs> yeah. That metal bar isn't going anywhere. I don't want to hurt anyone. I could get out the window. How far up am I? The second floor? There must be a way to leave this room without... <sighs> Maybe I could, uh... rig a decoy Sean in the bed. Where did you just put that? In your butt? Nada. Joey could probably distract the guard dog. I don't want to get Joey involved. He could get in trouble. <clears throat> that looks so fake. But it might work for a second. Can I have some privacy, please? Wonderful. Ah, need a superhero to open that shit. I don't know. There's that, that little thing there. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. It's dead tonight. Works for me. I need all the information. I could slip into one of those rooms under construction. You could. You could. Can't open that window with my bare hands. I could call Joey, but I really don't want to get him involved. I especially don't want to hurt anyone. Maybe I could get Joey to help me. Would he get busted? He might. You already have this thing in the bed. This might be a problem. 
Why is Joey here so late? Does the dude never go home? Sweet dreams, my friend. Is he asleep? You got business in there? Patient calls. Just gotta see what our boy needs. Good. I need a smoke break. Hey, that's your job. Go for it. Hey, there's my second favorite patient. Second favorite. <laughs> gotcha. You never stop working, Joey. I'm doing a double night shift. Diane is out with a flu, so lucky me. Yeah, I'm fried. But that sweet, sweet overtime. Mm hmm Sean, you look stressed. You feeling okay? No. <sighs> yeah, I know where my brother is. What? How? I found a note in the sketchbook you brought me. He's in Nevada. With, um, a friend of ours. Fuck, Sean. That's awesome. Now that's good news. Yeah, Nevada okay. sucks, but at least the kid is safe. <sighs> Listen, Joey. I need to get out of here. What? Come on, Sean. You know I can't let you do that. You know I'm on your side, man. Now, I don't blame you for being scared. You're leaving tomorrow. But don't fuck around with this. You hear me? Joey, I'm so scared. I've never felt like this. Like, I'll be in jail for life, and I'll never see Daniel again. I can't do it, man. I hear you, man. I swear, that kills me to see you in that situation, Sean, but... You really want me to help you break out of here. So what happens to me? I lose my job. Go to jail. I have a girlfriend, a rent to pay, a future. Sorry. I'm sorry, Joey. I was... I was being selfish. I just... I want to help my brother. It's all I can think about. He's ten years old. And out there, all alone. He needs now. his big brother. Okay, stop. Fuck. <sighs> Shouldn't have got Joey involved. I'll try to help you. Really? You serious? <laughs> no. I'm stupid. <laughs> so let's do this right. Find something to hit me with. What? Why? You're not gonna hurt me that bad. I'll tell them you attacked me from behind in the dark, that I didn't see shit. They can't prove I let you get away. I hope. I don't... Okay, so... I want to see what happens if I refuse, but I, I don't want to get Joey in trouble. Alright. Joey. Thank you so much. Hurry up before I change my mind. <laughs> Man, you even made a fake body. Oh. What? What's happening? Whoa, what's happening? I'm just walking around. Okay, the guard is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. I have just the thing. I don't know what's going on with these controls right now. Got no choice now. Do it. <sighs> Man, what's with all that noise? All right, Joey. 
Joe is the real deal. I feel bad I dragged him into this. Um, uh, okay. I found that grab bar in the bathroom. That should do, I guess. Now listen carefully. Just tap me right here. Should leave a bruise, but that's it. Hear me, Doc? Yes. You don't. really want me to hit you? Of course I don't. But it's gotta look real. So go ahead. Aim right where I showed you. Do it fast. Now. Ouch! Ugh. Oh, son of a bitch, motherfucker! Oh, shit. You okay? Damn, Sean. Thought I said tap, not smash. Fuck. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I asked for it, man. Now you better get out of here. Stat. I owe you, Joey. Only when you find your brother. And you will. So move your ass. my clothes That's That's Finn no way. Oh. Uh, what? What is he doing here? Uh, sorry, Finn. You won't even know I was here. <coughs> I kind of put all the blame on you, and it was your idea, and I don't want you to be pissed off at me, and, you know call someone so sorry Finn you know if you were just to walk around like a normal person people wouldn't think you look fishy Do you know how to drive? She stole Joey's car. Drive in the wrong direction for a little while and then walk back the other way so they think that you have the direction that you're going. Like, start going, start going like east when actually you want to go west. And then drop off the car and then start back going west. <coughs> so they'll keep going east thinking that they, you know, are following you. I... Hmm. Maybe I should be a criminal. How are you driving with so little depth perception? Like, for real.
Episode 4, Faith. <laughs> Aww. I really hope you put gas in this car before you drove it so far. I'm gonna die out in the middle of nowhere. They got that. I haven't been to Nevada in so long. Car must have great gas mileage. Air current things. <laughs> Are you parked behind a rock? this is my room for the night okay i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here um it was a great Fuck. getting back into it my eyes itchy type thing um i should probably clean it before i doze off we'll do all that when we come back so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next episode of whatever i decide to make Good night, signing out bye